welcome back to Adventure Center. Today we're on the Alaska Carnival Spirit. So this ship is a cruise ship that goes up to Alaska out of Seattle. On the way up, we're going to Ketchikan, Skagway, Juneau, uh, Tracy Arm Fjord, and we're coming back to finish at Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. So really exciting. This is my first time going on a cruise. My mom's a bit of a pro. Uh, as we speak, we're actually looking out into the Pacific Ocean that way. Opposite side of the ship from where we're at on the port side is land. Uh, you, we're actually so far out you can't see land at all, but if you could, it would be British, uh, British Columbia for a stretch, and then we'll start touching Alaska pretty soon. For what I understand, the cruise is going to go up into the channels and the little islands and things up to Skagway, Juneau, Ketchikan, etc. They're all in these be big, beautiful channels, fjords, and uh, really looking forward to that when we're surrounded by mountains and, and, and things. So. Uh, yeah, uh, gonna keep an eye out on the ocean here for any signs of sea life. In the meantime, we'll keep ourselves busy with the entertainment on board the casino, uh, on board the cruise ship, including the casino, lots of shows, music venues. Might even get into a bit of karaoke. So, hope you all enjoy this trip. Mama Bear knows what to do here. Trippy. All right, first things first, when you get on the ship, you have to go to your muster station for your safety briefing. So that's where we're headed. Oh, no way. <laughs> Mom dogs. So I gotta say, coming onto the ship was pretty easy, don't you think? Yes. Let's just jump in real quick. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that means the, uh, Slide is out of commission. I didn't even notice this little marina here. Wow. Lots of people live in there, Mom. Really? They live on their boats, a lot of them. We won't be going to islands like that right now. <laughs> the music's funky. That's, that's artwork. <laughs> Look at this one. That's how Chico lays down. Oh, oh sh As soon as you pass those, I can't breathe. Okay, f*** this. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't breathe. These things are pretty much wind bears. I'm sure when the ship's moving forward, it's a lot nicer, right? For getting drunk and hot. That, that sounds fun. Oh, I didn't even notice that shit. <laughs> Above the bar, there's like water slides. Salute. Dad probably loves it. Huh? <laughs> I love the themes. It's really, they go all in on the theme. Yeah. You could see how if the world ended, this wouldn't be a bad way to live. <laughs> just on little colony ships. Pretty neat so far. So we're really just killing time until our room's open. Just exploring a bit. This bar is where they do the karaoke. Karaoke here. We'll be checking that out later. I'll embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, I'll goof up for sure, but I, I commit. This one is shuffleboard, I think. Or I don't know what the formal name of this is, but it's very fun. I mean, this would be a great place to watch sports, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Wow. You gotta say. Say what you will about cruise ships, but they really go all out on the decor. It's, it's, it's actually very impressive. Wonder Bar. Yeah, I love the big circle windows, it's beautiful. Yeah, because the Versailles on the opposite side was the front. This is known as the booty meat of the ship. <laughs> I don't want to sit in the booty meat. Mom prefers not to sit on the booty meat section. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, Mom. <laughs> just waiting for the rooms to open. I think we're gonna find a place to just chill on the ship. I think we'll check out the Shanghai Lounge. 
it's very neat. I like the vibe. Oh shit! Prosciutto pie, quattro formaggio, pepperoni pizza. So insanely, you can actually get fresh made to order pizza on the ship, and it's actually pretty solid, honestly. I, I really, no complaints, it's pretty good. Wow, so cool. Okay, so this is that big, like, sunroom stained glass thing we're seeing from below. Here we are in our room, it's very cozy. Get a couple little wardrobes, little vanity mirror area. You get drinks, and you get a complimentary bottle. I, I think only if you're platinum. Bathroom, actually much nicer than what I envisioned. Not bad. Tiny little living room type situation here. Let's check the outside. Air conditioned, keep door closed. A $500 fine if you smoke. So you get a nice balcony view. All right, the ship is now pulled out. Pretty cool to be setting sail again. Last time I did this, I was on an aircraft carrier. So a little bit different of an experience. Seems to be a, a well of sorts. <laughs> Celebrity well. All right, gonna try out the roasted, roasted duck roll. Very light on the duck. Just like a tiny little piece of meat. Braised beef short rib. See that falls apart? It's nice. Try not the braised beef short rib. Oh man. <laughs> That's really damn good. That's the best thing I've tasted on the ship so far. This is the nightclub. Currently in the middle of the day, so not many people using it. Two stories of funk. It's actually pretty cool. Little lounges downstairs. They give you a Canadian customs card, cute little pile of towels, and looks like a free blanket. All right, you can see we have left Seattle. We're going up to Tracy Arm Fjord, so quite a bit of a quite a bit of a sail from down here near San Juan Islands. We're going to go all the way up to Tracy Arm Fjord and then further north. So yeah, right now we are just past San Juan Island. Okay, we're up above the ship, the 11th deck. The ship's moving nice and slow, so you can just kind of look out and enjoy the view. We've officially entered the channels. There's mountains on both sides. You're just filled with ice. We'll be surrounded by icebergs. 
usually Carnival Spirit will end up right around here, near a little place called Sawyer Island, which is a habitat of bald eagles. Yep, I see him. Lots of tails out and about. That's small. That's a dolphin. That's a well. That's a well. Wow. Look. Yeah. That was very close. So here we're very close to land. We're in the channels near Tracy Arm Fjord. We've been seeing wells all morning. Yeah, like right up here, <laughs> like yeah. Awesome. They actually have mini golf. <laughs> Windy as the dickens out here. My hair's wild. So that would be the Sure Excursion boat. So for the day, and Tracy Arm Fjord, we're just gonna be chilling out here basically. Unless you paid for the excursion, you're gonna be staying on the boat. We decided not to go for this excursion. It's like 250 a person. It takes you all the way up the channel. You will see a lot of wildlife and stuff on the way, so maybe worth it for you. We decided not to. All right, so on the ship, they have mini golf. So I think mom and I are gonna at least play around a little bit. Really good, you're gonna make it in two. Mom's killing it. Oh. All right, so mom is whooping my ass right now. Below, you can see people getting aboard the excursion vessel. One on each side of the ship. It's gonna take them all the way down to see the glaciers. All right, guys, we're here with Guy Fieri. So this is the, the pig patty with some sauteed onions and pickles. Comes with bacon. And then I've also got some of Guy's fries with chili. Don't skimp on the donkey sauce. We're actually gonna try this burger out. The fries are really good. That chili is atrocious. <laughs> is it? Tastes awful. Let's try the burger. That's a respectable burger. It's really good. Handmade, fresh, fairly fresh, you know. Actually, as far as burgers goes, I have no complaints on that. It's really good. And uh, the fact that it's all inclusive, I mean, it's included. For a free burger, this is very good. Overall, pretty impressed with Guy's Burgers uh, on, on board the ship, so would recommend that as one of your meals. I would say the pizza also deserves a try. And then outside of that, my favorite thing has just been going to the main room for dinner each night. It's usually decent. I will say we went to the main room for breakfast today. Pretty disappointing on all fronts, so <laughs> it's hit and miss. It depends. Even looking at the walls in the fjord, you can see that almost looks like something has been dragged across the surface. There's score marks alongside the cliff walls. Almost looks like the landscape has been smeared into place. Icebergs everywhere. Oh yeah. Icebergs and icy ones. Mama's taking some really good quality photos with her Galaxy phone. Worth it already, huh? This is a good cruise. Look at that one. Oh, wow. Totally blue down there. Even the water trail now, look. Behind the boat's blue. I won't get a full picture of that one.
somewhat difficult to see, but far off in the distance is the glacier. Let's see if I can zoom in. 2X is all I got, so enjoy. I'll see if I can get a photo from my mom for this video later. That's beautiful. It's like a weird wall, weird patterned wall. So the ship is ever so slowly turning around right now. Beautiful out here. So we're at the end of Tracy Arm Fjord. This is the glacier that you can see right here. Boop, boop, boop. Very far off. So if you actually want to get up close to that, you do need to pay for the excursion. You can get a better view if you go on the excursion, but really quite good if you have a good camera. Um, my mom's camera is able to get real nice detail and you can zoom in and kind of look at it or bring some binoculars. You can really enjoy it. So that would be, if you were to go on the excursion, you can actually go deeper into Tracy Arm. You can explore a little further than the large crews can, can actually get to. They're connecting to each other's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Absolutely breathtaking. After a short delay here at the glacier, at the end of Tracy Arm, you will be heading back out the canal. It's definitely un unusual background. Big one. Very beautiful. Down on the lower decks below the emergency vessels, you can actually get close to the ice here. So, One of very few cruises that you can take where you can just see icebergs floating by your balcony window of your room. Looks like a yacht cruising by. Thank you.